Hi everybody and welcome to EV Unite where we discuss the latest news and tech related to electric vehicles and charging. In this episode I will be showing you how to mount a Tesla Gen 3 wall connector charger to a cinder block garage wall. So let's get started. The tools you will need are a pencil, tape measure, power drill, a quarter inch regular drill bit, a 3 16th inch masonry cement drill bit, quarter by two and a quarter masonry screws, a screwdriver with replaceable bits, and of course, a Tesla Gen 3 wall connector. All of the tools and hardware discussed in this video are linked below in the description, so make sure to check that out. While many home garage setups have wood studs, in our case, the wall we are mounting to has cinder block walls. The house was built in the 70s, and luckily the cinder blocks they used have nice two inch thick outer walls, which will give plenty of material for the screw to bite into. I would highly recommend using Torque Master masonry screws as they do a fantastic job of biting into the masonry and will hold strong in the wall over time. If you are dealing with thinner cinder blocks and cannot hit a stud, then you may want to use plastic anchors or toggle wing anchors. It is worthwhile to review the installation guide that comes with the Tesla charger prior to starting the job. The first step is to mark the wall at the height you would like the charger. Tesla recommends 45 to 48 inches since this is the most ergonomic location, so we will choose a height within this range. Next, use the template provided by Tesla and a pencil to mark the wall with the drill hole pattern for the wiring configuration you selected, making sure it's nice and level. If you are curious for more information about the different wiring configurations, check out my Tesla Gen 3 charger unboxing and first impressions video linked below. Keep in mind, it is always best to mount the charger through a stud if possible so that you get the strongest hold. In our case, we will be using the center top and bottom holes to mount the unit. Next, you will need to remove the back plastic panel from the charging unit, which should slide off the body with a little bit of force. Using a drill with a quarter inch regular bit, carefully drill out the holes in the plastic panel in the predefined punch out locations. Then swap over to the masonry bit and drill the marked holes on the wall, making sure to set the torque to either a drill or hammer drill setting. I recommend taking the washers off of the two long silver screws that come with the Tesla charger and adding them to the Torque Master screws before inserting them in the back of the plastic panel. Using the drill bit that comes with the masonry screws, torque down the screws to securely fasten the Tesla charger backplate to the wall. You should be able to feel the screw biting into the cinder block and the plastic panel should feel very strongly mounted. If the screws feel loose or are freely spinning in the wall, then you may need to try using one of the wall anchors previously mentioned. And now you could finally take a deep breath because you have made it through the hardest step. In our case, the electrical wiring will be finished on a different day, and I will be posting a future video explaining this process, so make sure to check that out. But for the sake of this video, I will pretend the electrical wiring is already complete and show you how to finish mounting the charger. Simply slide the Tesla charger onto the back plate and using the four black screws and the bit that comes with the charger, hand fasten the body to the back plate using a driver. It is recommended to wrap the cable counterclockwise because this best positions the handle to align well with the storage port on the side of the charger. And just like that, you are all finished and ready to power up. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If you found any value in this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comments section below. Also, if you have any suggestions for future videos, I would love to get your feedback so we can make sure to provide the best content to you as possible. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you again soon.